This video is going to take a look at some additional properties of the binomial distribution, specifically in identifying the expected value and the standard deviation of that distribution. So with the binomial distribution, we have a shortcut formula to help us calculate the expected value or the expected number of successes. And that is we take the number of trials times the probability that any one trial is successful. We also have a shortcut for the standard deviation, which is the square root of the number of trials times the probability of success times the probability of failure. These values are really useful to help us identify when we have an unusual number of successes. We're going to define an unusual number of successes as having more than two and a half standard deviations above the mean or two and a half standard deviations below the mean. Let's take a look at an example where we work with just that. Let's say a recent bond passed in a community that had 55% of the community support. We're going to take a sample of 834 voters to see how they voted. How many would you expect to support the bond? Well, the expected value mu is equal to the number of trials, which is 834, times the probability of success, which is 55%. When we multiply 834 times 0.55, we get 458.7. So we would estimate approximately 458 or 459 of those 834 voters will probably support the bond. If I want the standard deviation, the standard deviation is the square root of the number of trials, 834, times the probability of success, 0.55, times the probability of failure, which is 1 minus a success, so 0.45. When we do that on our calculator, 834 times 0.55 times 0.45, and then take the square root of our answer, we get 14.37, approximately. So if we want to know how many supporters would be considered unusual in a random sample, what we'll do is we'll add and subtract two standard deviations from the mean. So anything above two standard deviations. So the mean is 458.7, and we're going to add 2.5 standard deviations. 2.5 of these 14.37s. And if we run that through our calculators, 458.7 plus 2.5 times 14.37, we'll find having more than 494.625. Anything more than that would be considered unusual we probably have a bias sample. Or anything below, very similar calculation, we're just going to subtract 458.7 minus 2.5 standard deviations, or 2.5 times 14.37, which gives us 422.775. So if we have less than 422.775, voters in support of the bond were probably skewed to the lower side, and that's also considered unusual. So hopefully this video helped you identify the expected value of a binomial distribution and other additional properties, which can help you as you work on your assignment.